Hey guys, it's Roger. I'm in an established True Homes neighborhood. It's a closeout community, but what we're talking about today is building a house just like this one on your lot. And by the way, we'll help you find the lot. First of all, look at that exterior. A lot of gingerbread. Look at that radius over the front door. That is exciting. We'll go in that way. But first, I want to point out a three-car garage, right? Side load. Now, if a lot will allow it, that certainly can be done and we have a point of reference because True Homes builds a lot of these. And so can we build this on your lot? Well, probably yes. True Homes builds, I don't know, well over 2,000 homes a year. They're a local Charlotte builder. In fact, the principal came from the same city I came from, Indianapolis, and so I knew uh, of their work up there. But this is one of the many True Homes plan. Notice we got an eight foot door right up here in front, a couple of side lights. One of the reasons I'm excited about this is because True Homes is established. Now in this plan, you notice you've got room for some tables or furniture or a plant. Beautiful. I love eight foot doors. Now they chose on this study to use a solid door rather than with glass. And for a lot of people, that's definitely the right move. Man, these have got to be 10 foot ceilings. Look at this. Wow. So is this an office for you or what? Now, a lot of the luxury vinyl plank going around as well as engineered wood. And True Homes, because of their volume, right out of Charlotte, they can build at such an unbelievably reasonable price. And what we're seeing in the market now, we're gonna to tour this one because if you're in the market for a five, six bedroom house, yeah, this one's got six with more than one ensuite. Wow, eight foot doors, pretty exciting. So here is, in fact, an office, but wait, does it have a closet? Doesn't that make it a bedroom? I'm a real estate agent, I should know that. Well, it does have a closet for sure. So whether you would use it that way, or maybe this is an office if you're working remotely. What I tended to see is that because we found out that we can work remotely, many of us would like to work remotely. So for instance, when I said that about this office, that could be mom and dad's bedroom and full bath. This could be mom and dad's living room, right? So then you've got a, a really neat multi-generational vibe going on in this house. And guys, to be able to build this on your lot, what I'd like to do, because of the trends, it's hard for builders finding dirt these days. That's an industry in itself. First of all, you've got this, what we call New Yorkers, we call this Long Island. Yeah, that's what that is. That's a Long Island right there. And it's just an executive, lovely kitchen. I mean, fabulous. Now, True Homes has a, a design center as well, which we'll, we'll have video for that. And look at this. Is that a breakfast room or is that a dining room? I mean, it's got plenty of space and some architectural detail like those beams just make it interesting. Now, my signature move, if you're a a uh, subscriber of mine, if not, hover around my face down there and hit that subscribe button, ring the bell. But this looking out from the kitchen island and from the sink, pretty spectacular. Now, this house can be built at such a reasonable price. And I'm, I'm hesitant to put a figure on it. Now, Butler's Pantry, what would you do with that? Oh man, that is nice. We make coffee in ours, big walk-in pantry, nice. So what, what we need to do is connect you and me, and I'll have one of my team of agents begin looking for a lot for you. And you may have been watching this one because of a lot video that I featured, but this is good family space right here. Fireplace, place for built-ins, and yes, this is a screened porch. Beautiful. And you got that cross ventilation from there across to there. This is good stuff, guys. Wow. I've even seen them take these spaces right here and put in a motorized screen. And that really makes your living from the outside in. We've got vinyl uh, flooring, but we've got hardy board, some type of fiber cement, whether it's hardy brand or some other brand, basically very, very similar. Now this one's got the primary suite down. I'm amazed by the 10 foot uh, top plate or 10 foot ceilings. So here we've got, and they're kind of notorious for putting a, uh, a folding table in, which is just magnificent, right here in your laundry room. So that's sweet, but primary suite down makes a lot, an awful lot of sense. 
So it's got a tray up. I will tell you when we get upstairs, another one of these bedrooms, I thought it was a second master. That's the way it felt. This is huge, guys. Can you, can you get the expanse of space here in this uh, primary suite? Now, what we can do, I, I'm again hesitant to recommend the prices, but if we can find a lot that's the right dimension for this house to fit on, then let's go to work for you. So if you come in before you even get into your wet areas and your steamy areas, you've got uh, two, kitchen, uh, two, two uh, closets right there. Walk right into that. Now, if you want to build it without that tub, I'm sure that there's an option for that. And that typically makes a larger shower. Let's check in with their sales team and see. Now, what you don't want to do is call True Homes directly because at that point, they, they've got... They've got an edge in that they've fully represented. They are fully represented. That tile goes all the way up. This is, this is killer right here. Goes all the way up. So this is a lovely master suite. But what you want to do is reach out to me. I'm a buyer agent. And I've got a great team of buyer agents. And we would love to represent you in the transaction, help you find the right lot to build on. If you've already identified a lot or if you own lot and land, then let us take you directly to true homes and build this house. We'll get an exact price for you because this house that was built for someone else is a particular price because it included the lot here in this subdivision. They're sold out now and I really want to get in a groove of helping you identify uh, a lot to build on and build this out somewhere. Now first of all you got a little bit of a, uh, of, of a uh, foyer upstairs here, a landing. Well, you need to count the bedrooms because I got confused. There are so many. I'm serious. I said, well, this is a great bonus room. And that may be the way that you would use it. But wait, there's a closet over there. Feels like a bonus room, but wait. It's got a sink. It's got a power room. Now, I've never seen that in a bedroom. But how would you use that? Would this be your workout room? And then you can, or would this be a guest room or a, some other kind of space that you would use, maybe for your office. And you could take your breaks right there. This is a Jack and Jill. You've got a big closet right there. And then we're Jack and Jilled right here. And again, guys, I hate to give numbers out, but this is affordable in so many dimensions. So you could have the, somebody using the commode or the shower, tub shower, and somebody else out here brushing teeth. That's the way Jack and Jill works. Yeah, so here's another bedroom. So are you counting? I think this is the third bedroom we've been in upstairs. Downstairs, we were in at least one. If you want to count that front one with the closet, do it. This one's got a good sized closet as well. Wow, I hope you're counting because I'm having trouble counting. Got the mechanicals off there to the right. Now look at that window seat. That looks like something a custom builder would do, like a Mike Palmer. But you put some cushions on that, you're going to build a lot of memories reading your kids to sleep or your grandkids. Now this is the one I thought, hey, what is this, a second master? So you've got what feels like a little bit of a buffer and then you come into another ensuite, full bath. Wow, with a window, this is cool. Wow, ensuite, you know, we're talking like the love it or list it folks. Yeah, David and Hillary, so here we go guys. So I think we have, no, we have not exhausted all the bedrooms up here. This is where we came up. Uh, let's just take it around here, right here. Now, I don't want to build you up false dreams about uh, something cheap. Ain't nothing cheap, but what I'll tell you uh, is on, wait a minute, what do we got? This is another bedroom. It's like a fifth bedroom up here. Oh yeah, that one's got a full bath. So that ensuite is a full bath. How about that? Wow, that's for your kid that got the best grades or your returning college grad that's paying room and board, right? Because they like mama's cooking. Well, that's a whole bunch of bedrooms and bathrooms upstairs in this True Homes plan. Let's build this on the lot. We'll help you find the lot. First thing to do, don't call True Homes, call me. Uh, if you're already working with one of my team of agents, call them and reference this plan. I believe this one is called the Kensington. We're gonna double check that. It'll be on the thumbnail and in the description below. And then what we want to do is find you a lot that this will fit on. And that's going to take us working with the uh, on your lot salesperson. And uh, we'll be highlighting particular lots that this plan could fit on. There's one more master down as well. That's going to be in the playlist at the end called popular 
true homes floor plan. So check them all out. And most any of them, uh, if they're in current production, should be able to build, uh, be built on your lot. And that, of course, is dependent upon the width and the dimensions of the, of the actual footprint of the house, as well as the side setback requirements. Now be aware, their price per square foot, I mean, right now today is hovering in the 125-ish a foot range. That's currently, that's today. That could change because as you know, uh, lumber changes, et cetera, windows at all. But you know, a price of a house is not just that. You've got to buy a lot, but then you've got to develop it. Hey, can I take another peek at that butler's pantry? You buy the lot, you've got to develop it. In other words, besides the square footage for the house, there's a difference between a two car and a three car garage. You knew that. Uh, and maybe you don't need all that. If we're buying it on your lot with no HOA, maybe we can build a two or three car garage attached to the house and then build you a detached garage or uh, give you space and lay it, lay it out on the lot, site it that way so that, hey, your future needs are there. And maybe you put your mother-in-law suite up above, your carriage house, whatever you want to do. Man, if it's no HOA, you ought to build a, a, a garage space for your RV or for your parents' RV. <laughs> How about that? So guys, we love what we do. We would love to help you with a true homes on your lot. So give me a call at 704-345-3400 and let us get to work for you to get you into the greater Charlotte area. Hit that subscribe, ring the bell, and we'll talk to you in the next video.